Alright. Another game. Cool. Alright, so just a reminder to myself that Bruce the Moose gets to pick my first augment. They redeemed the point reward. Is Swain supposed to be a tank like Vex? Yes. Uh, Swain is a tank like Vex. A little more offense, a little less defense, but generally yes. Do you think the interaction between VIP Cinder and Colossus is healthy? Yes, because she still does her full spell to them. She doesn't lose any of the benefit, she just doesn't toss them, but she still does the AoE, the CC knockup, all of that still happens. Uh, Mutant is Elderwood. Alright, Bruce the Moose, be ready to pick. Sword? Edge of Night? Eh. Eh. Double Trouble, Blue Battery, Celestial Blessing. What am I picking, Bruce the Moose? Double trouble. Okay. Double trouble it is. Huh. Huh. Double trouble. Interesting. Uh, fly chance. Appreciate the 19 months. I like the new overlay. Thank you. Glad you're enjoying it. Double trouble, huh? Is it really just Double Trouble Ash? Is that really what we're doing? Double Trouble Ash? I cannot win fights, man. <sighs> Not a day today, man. Am I colorblind? I am red green colorblind, yes. You ever see those dot tests? Like here. Red green colorblind dot tests. Images. Yeah, okay. I just already feel bad. Let me see how this fight goes and I'll show you. Actually win this fight eventually eventually actually you know what's funny I might lose this Rex I might win this mm, nope we're good okay sweet I'm being baited by these Morganas here. Whatever. <laughs> 
Okay, so yeah, this is a red-green colorblind test. If you haven't seen these before, and like, I don't see any numbers here. I don't see any numbers here. Uh, like, I can see this 8, and this 9, and this 16, but like, I don't see anything else. There's a 12 here. Otherwise, I got nothing. So. I just see a bunch of green dots. So. There are numbers? Yes, there were numbers in those. If you couldn't see the numbers, you were also red, green, colorblind. It is very, very common with males. Very common. Like, ridiculously common. Oh, it's more than 1 in 100. It's like 10%. Yeah, it's like really high. Are traffic lights a problem for you? No, that's not how it works. Though it is funny, that is like the most common thing I get asked. But here, I mean, like, really quick, everyone in chat, what number do you see here on this very first one? So. See? Most people are seeing a 74. I got nothing. If you're seeing nothing, you're with me. You colorblind. Yep, so if you don't see it, you're with me, you're colorblind. So. You just brought down 10% of chat's reality? True. Should have shown a picture with nothing in it. <laughs> okay, you're right, I should have. That would have been funny. What color are the health bars for you? Green. Green. Like, that's not... That's... What it comes down to is you have trouble distinguishing between similar colors. That's what it really ends up meaning. Good loss. Dun, dun, dun. Is it reasonable to say Milk needs to be banned because he's tilting all of us? No, I don't think that's reasonable. All right, we're caught up. Getting a lot of Dragon Ball Z songs. How did you figure out you were colorblind? Uh, I mean, those dot tests, actually. <laughs> but people used to do those dot tests, and I'd freak out going like, I don't see any freaking number! I don't see any numbers! How can I improve high rolling? Well, here's step one. Don't assume it's because of high rolling that you lost. Always assume it's because you did something wrong. What if you can see the numbers but can't tell what they are? Then I guess you can't read? Uh, still poor. Why am I playing Double Trouble, Ash? Is there a better thing I should be playing here? Double Trouble with IE already. There's got to be something better, right? Twitch reroll? No. Double Trouble Jin? That's a terrible idea. It needs to be someone who can benefit. Also, why am I playing around Double Trouble when it's a 1? That's the real mistake here. Oh. Okay, well that's good. That actually opens up some cool plays. Oh wait, no it doesn't. I forgot, that's not Syndicate anymore. Damn it! I thought that was Syndicate. It's not Syndicate anymore. No! 
Hmm. See, now it makes me think it's assassins, but Kha'Zix? It was Elderwood Mutant? Eh. Double Trouble Kha'Zix could be pretty sick, actually. Double Trouble Kha'Zix could be really sick. Maybe it's Double Trouble Kha'Zix. This guy has a two-star Gnar. Hmm. Uh, let's do this song. I am, how am I so poor this game? It's because of these Morganas. They just baited me too long. Uh, what to learn about genetics? The genes for color receptors are linked to the X chromosome, so XY men have a higher chance of losing receptor genes. XX women have a higher chance of gaining an extra receptor, a term called tetrachromats. These people can distinguish between colors extremely well. Me. That sounds right. A lot of Yordle players in this lobby. Seriously, how many two-star Nars have I faced? Did everybody in this lobby get a two-star Nar? This is not my day, man. Everyone else... Ugh, man, I gotta not tilt, not tilt! Okay. Well, it's an Ash game. It's an Ash game. We just got Sniper's Nest, which means we should position one time where we want this Ash. Okay. Sniper's Nest is good. Uh, Bobo2600, appreciate the tier one for seven months. Thank you. I'm gonna sneeze again. Wow, this person got mutant and unstable evolution. Cool. Dun, dun, dun. Bum, bum, bum. Did League of Legends actually donate it to you? Yep, they sure did. <laughs> no bows. Cool. How does it feel to be mort dog? How does it feel to ask a super constructive question? Uh, I once did those colorblind tests but realized I couldn't see anything. Later I found out it's because I had my eyes closed. <laughs> Would you say people are colorblind because they don't open their eyes? No. Have you seen the six bodyguard poppy carry build? Yes. Have you seen the poppy carry build? Yes. Mort dog on Triforce tactics when? When they invite me. They've never even asked me. They've never even asked me.
Yeah, my front line just falls apart too quick. No, 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 it's fine. I sent your points back. It's all good. It's all good. First place, Debonair, Talon with Draven. Second place, three Socialite, Nar2. Nar2, Vex2. Hextech. Mutant player. Sivir already. And Renata Bruiser. Okay. Uh, Yukots, Yukotsiti, Yuko City. Appreciate the Prime. Yukosity. Hey Mort, how does Tome of Train works? I tried to use it at Sage 1 3 with only a Sige and Zillion, but didn't get Invader Spat. Does the champions on the field not count? Uh, there's a whole descriptor we've got, but basically it uses your previous round, and you need at least six traits, and the odds of getting Innovator Spat are going to be low anyway, so you not getting an Innovator Spat is pretty normal. If you could force it the way you're describing, it would be ridiculously overpowered. So would you be more or less happy if your daughter turns out to be emo since you don't need to worry about dress colors? I'm keeping your points. Uh, what comp surprised you yesterday during LCQ strength-wise, and what vamp did you think? What comp did you think would perform better but didn't have much of an impact? Uh, I definitely think Draven's been the underestimator. As far as surprised me, nothing really surprised me. If anything, at this point, I think the set's pretty well known, so there's not much that can surprise at this point, but... Okay, here's the million dollar question. What is our third item? It's not Sinsbat. Whoever said Sinsbat, you're being silly. Oof, barely won that. Hmm. Yeah, it could be Hodge, I suppose. I suppose it could be Hodge. Okay, that was a roll. One more? If we get one more, that'll be great. I almost want to keep rolling for it. I almost want to keep rolling for it. Up, yeah, I think next turn I'm just going to roll for it. Yeah, I think next turn I'm going to roll for it, and then, yeah, because this Ash is starting to be really powerful here. Do you need to have the sniper buff active for Sniper's Nest to work? No, you don't. Yep, I lose my sniper stacks. I was a little worried about that. I should have positioned better. That was my fault. That was my fault. I'll get my stacks back. No big deal.
How could I have prevented it? I could have put the other ash on the bench. That's how I could have prevented it. That was my fault. Nice. Is Warwick good against eight bodyguards? It's okay. You still need penetration to get through their high defenses, though. I mean, we're not going to get it, but that spatula would be amazing. Yep. Will there ever be an engine or AI for TFT like there is for chess? Probably not. Uh, okay, add song to playlist. What do we got here? Do this for now. Ooh, that's a scary. That is a scary, scary Alistar. In your opinion, what is the best spat unit combo in 6.5? Probably Assassin Aurelia. Probably Assassin Aurelia. Uh, is there value in a site similar to LOL Esports for TFT that would display the timings of play of other regions of people that would want to watch other regions? Um, I mean, yeah. To be honest, I think one of the things like it would be really basic that we haven't done that should be done is like, why isn't it just on a freaking competitive TFT subreddit, you know? Because the thing is, I don't think many people go to LOL Esports. Like, websites is just not where you get your information nowadays. Oh, goody. I mean, I only have a two-item Ash. Do I just risk it? I feel like I risk it. The Bodyguard's good here, too. All right, I'll risk it. I'll risk it. Zeke's is good here. Quicksilver's good here. Zeke's or Quicksilver. Y'all saying Quicksilver? I'm gonna do Quicksilver. Uh, what do I need? I need an Ari. Zeke's you'd have to reposition? No, I wouldn't. I just put it on this Ash. I just put it on this Ash. I went with Quicksilver because it's only 5% less attack speed. I'll already have Life Steal through Syndicate. And the uh, being CC immune at the end of fights means she might be able to 1v9 a few times. So. Yeah. Uh, let's say you put... Uh, hang on. Back to the playlist. Uh, let's say you put inside a medium-sized room and you have to escape. Which animal would you choose to escape against? A gorilla, hippo, or bear? Uh, probably a hippo, but... What are you hoping to gain when you ask these kind of questions? I actually kind of want to know.
I don't know what to put here. Is it just... Shroud for sure? Yeah, I can see Shroud. Shroud doesn't really seem that insane though. Yeah, second DPS of Ash isn't that great. Okay, I need one more Morgana real quick. There we go. This is what we'll work with. Good shroud. <laughs> so we have Double Trouble, Morgana, and Ash here. Sniper's Nest, Ash. Very good items. Five Syndicate now, so everyone gets the five Syndicate. We should be good here. Is it possible to hit two three-star Ashes? It is possible. It's very difficult, but it is possible. Uh, would you ever consider a limited time rotating game mode that offers just prismatic augments? For a very short limited time, yes. I suppose we would consider it. This is actually our hardest matchup, so I positioned for this and got lucky. Oh, he silkoed the Vi. He silkoed the Vi. All right, I think this this might actually turn into a first, despite how bad it started. Zeke's Syndicate. Never mind, Syndicate. Syndicate. If we can hit seven Syndicate, that's huge. Okay, so we find Ari, we find Ari, we switch out for the Morgana, lose the double trouble value. Just hit? <laughs> I mean, okay, there we go, seven syndicate. Seven syndicate, double trouble ash, 229 AD. 120, 140, I mean, yeah, we take those. Shroud stays here, we're good. Braum 2 would basically be the last big hit. Yeah, Ash is just going to keep healing to full every time she casts, so... I think we're in a good spot. Okay. Did you consider only having two tiers of augments instead of three during development? We've considered it. I think having three creates more sharp moments. I think worst came to worst, I would rather keep three and lower prismatic a lot if we had to. But I think having that third excitement tier like creates this cool high moment of like, ooh, ooh, it's special. But maybe they're too common right now. Maybe they're not. I don't know. I still think Ash is super weak in a Grandmaster lobby. So, I, I, again, with all due respect, literally the first game of Last Chance Qualifier yesterday, Ash reroll won. So, saying it's weak in a Grandmaster lobby, like, I, I, I don't know what to tell you.
Okay. We, I know we heard this song today. Uh, what are your thoughts on making items that were removed because they were too strong or Orn Radiant items? For example, GA or Chalice of Favor, Mana Battery of Strong and Fun. But I think it would be cool to have them back in some form. Uh, probably never GA because of the buggy interactions. I think if there's a good opportunity to bring those items back, we would. Like Ludens with the Augment. But they'd have to be a really good situation. So... Like, a redesigned Cursed Blade could be fun. I mean, I'm just taking that. So now I can literally just throw in another Djinn if I wanted. Or is it the Morgana? It's probably the Morgana here, actually. Four Sniper? I can't get in Four Sniper. I would have to take out this and Clockwork for Four Sniper? I guess I could. That's a lot of Legendaries. That is a lot of Legendaries, though. Good Bromalt. Gotta turn and kill the Jinx. Is that it? Is that a first? Alright, Ash reroll, double trouble, first place. Whew, turn that around. Alright, GG.